I feel like a lot of times what we end up having is we end up having a lot of speakers that come in and you know are just sort of supposed to like motivate you and inspire you to work in the games industry and be able to say that I'm going to do this thing because it's the right thing not because it's going to make me a lot of money to be able to do that I think is um, my goal and it's something I'm going to work hard towards of course the most impactful speaker for me for this semester is Josh Sher. Actually, um, when the guy from Naughty Dog came in and gave a talk about uh, the entire process of Uncharted. When, we th when we're thinking about cinematics, we're thinking about, okay, what has to be in a cinematic? cinematic? What emotional beat is only gonna land if we actually take control away from the player? Versus what emotional beat or what story moment is gonna be much more awesome if it's actually happening to the player and they're actually affecting how it, the outcome of it because I think he gave a really good, in-depth sort of perspective on what it was like uh, working at a game studio. Everything kind of, when we develop the story, we're also developing the game. Everything has to be thought of simultaneously, and sometimes things will butt up against each other and not work, and at that point, we just grab everybody and we sit down and we just hash it out. And sometimes story wins, sometimes gameplay wins, and sometimes we find a compromise. It's really refreshing to hear someone talk so candidly about caring about representation, to care about doing the right thing, and to go through all this work of doing research and at one point rebuilding parts of the game in order to make sure that they are being culturally sensitive, to make sure that they are not uh, disrespecting other cultures and other groups of people. You were able to write with Jackson Daxter, even though you're not a space creature or whatever, it's, right? The, well, to actually say this like it's, a... How I, does that? How do you feel I, as a creator? I get the I get the I get the criticism because okay. it's all about representation. Okay. Anyway, right? It's about it's about representation. It's about representation in games. You know, there's not a lot of female uh, there's not a lot of female uh, heroes in uh, video games. So it's always nice to see more of them. There's not a lot of uh, there's not a lot of women of color as leads in video games. So it's always nice to see more of them. But I, I liked his because in a way it was just he was very uh, sort of just upfront about. Um, everything and how he got his job. One thing, backing up a little bit, one thing that's very, very important to us is that uh, we develop the story and the gameplay simultaneously. Uh, we never write a script and say, here you go designers, go make something cool, and then like walk away and you know do whatever. Uh, that's usually, that is, people have done that in the past and it res usually results in uh, fairly crappy games. It is, for me, incredibly inspiring to see someone or a company, Naughty Dog, have so much clout in the industry and with their audience and to have so much respect from them to be able to sort of like say, yeah, I'm just, we're just going to like make sure that we're doing the right thing and not care about what other people think. 